the Tswane municipality after it failed to pass its adjustment budget. Earlier today, 107 councillors voted in favour of the budget, which was just one vote shy of the required majority for it to be adopted. The result means that the municipality will miss its third deadline to pass the budget, which expires tonight. Tabi Sokoba has more. Councillors from the ANC EFF coalition say they voted against the adjustment budgets because it was unfunded, meaning the expenses exceeded the projected revenue. The DA coalition government says National Treasury had approved its funding plan, which aims to gradually move the city's budgets away from its unfunded status. Spokesperson for the Gauteng Cooperative Governance Department, Khapa Mabusela, says failure by council to fulfill its constitutional mandates poses a danger to the city's ability to provide service delivery to its residents. Tabi Sokoba, Eyewitness News. And Joburg City Power says some residents in the city have been experiencing prolonged power outages as a result of the higher stages of load shedding. The city says stage 6 load shedding has had adverse effects on its infrastructure, with the utility recording more trips and shocks on its system. The utility says in some instances the pressure on its systems has led to transformers and mini substations failing and cables burning due to post load shedding and overload. City Power's Isaac Mangena. The current uh, higher stages of load shedding really do not help. The truth is that load shedding is an undesirable nuisance for our operations and the higher stages including stage 6 where we find ourselves currently are, are basically making matters worse. A partly cloudy Saturday in store for Gauteng tomorrow. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 7 degrees, peaking at 23. The capital 25, Ferenaging peaking at 23 degrees. The top story this hour, South Africans will have to wait for months to find out how Tabo Besta orchestrated his audacious prison break. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind. This is a normal response. Are you ready for our sports worldwide? I know my worth. I look at you and you say, yeah, memories. And I know you were at that game. I was at that game seven years ago today. Uh, that took place. Changing and re-engineering sports on the continent and the world. Can I say something to you, Robert? Yeah, please. You listen to me carefully. Let me win. If I cannot win, let me f- fail in the attempt. That's our slogan. Wow. That inspires us. Hashtag MSW. Can I ask you a very quick final but very personal question? Yeah, personal. It's easy to answer. Uh, Robert will do so unless it's is so difficult because I know you. <laughs> you, you, can, you can ask me, how do I know you? I will tell you. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm asking the questions today, Frere. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Yeah, I hope you're in a Friday mood because you know what, uh, Novak Djokovic was not in the mood to talk. That feeling is terrible after playing like this, honestly. But congrats to him. He, you know, he stayed tough in the important moments, and that's it. I cannot say nothing. I'm okay. I'm fine. Congrats to him. We move on. Um, well, you always hope for the good day in the office, but uh, yeah, I, I knew I'm not, I'm not playing so great, and he's playing very well, so I knew it's going to be a tough match. I think it's catastrophic, but you know, feeling is bad right now because he lost the match. That's all. Congrats to my opponent. I move on. So, yeah, I know, but you know, I just it's a, not a great day for me, so I'm not really in the mood to speak. All right, we're in the mood to speak, and that's why we welcome you to Marawa Sports Worldwide tonight. It's a Friday at 947 uh, for my FM, Rise FM, Man and So It's in Live. We're also live streaming on YouTube. If you want to watch and listen, that is a place to be. And you can drop your comments right there. We'll also pick up a lot of your comments on the YouTube channel. Otherwise, we are interactive. You can drop us your WhatsApp voice notes on 060-708-0484. 608 And guess what? We are exactly 147 days away from the Rugby World Cup. 
We were exactly 132 days away from the 2023 FIFA Basketball World Cup. We are 105 days away from the Netball World Cup here in Cape Town, in Mzanti. And we are 97 days away from the FIFA Women's World Cup. Now don't tell me there's a shortage of World Cups this year. There isn't. And we're all within 100 odd days left for all of those tournaments. So exciting times ahead. And I hope that uh, you all choose whatever sporting code it is that you're looking forward to watching. But we'll be there for you and with you every step of the way right here on hashtag MSW. I think our guest tonight, this hour will seem like five minutes. He's not somebody that talks a lot. He's not somebody that does too many interviews. He's not somebody uh, you'll find quoted too many times. I think he just left his legacy on the field. It was easier to do that. Uh, but then when you pick up on social media and you post and the people get excited and they tell you all sorts of things, then you know you're dealing with a man who has the gift, a man who God blessed on the field of playing. I mean, very skillful. If you were to be asked what describes this man, skillful is one, but there's so many different layers and aspects to his world. I mean, that's certainly the first thing that comes to mind whenever this man's name is mentioned. A rare breed of a talent, eh? What a gentle human being as well. I've spoken to opponents opponents that he has been able to mesmerize from rear stars to Orlando Pirates plenty other teams he doesn't care even at training he would dribble them their shorts would tear they would go replace them if they had the budget to go and do that I mean an absolute honor to have the legend Tapelo Diao in the house today good to see you Baba welcome to the show I think as well thanks for having me and good evening to your hey, listeners. Listeners, viewers, all of them yeah. are here. Trust me. <laughs> they're watching. They're listening. <laughs> Where have you been hiding, man? Where have you been hiding? We, we don't see you around. They, you know, they're legends that you see so often. You, you're you like, ah, okay, it's him again. But you you kind of <laughs> keep a very low profile. Yeah, well, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm a introvert. Yeah. So I prefer to be in my space. But I'm still around. Yeah. I'm still around. But why do you prefer that? No, I think uh, uh, like it's in, uh, it's in my nature. No? Yeah. I'm not a busy person. <laughs> but then outside of football, because a lot of people have been asking, ah, what's what, what's he what's he up to these days? What's he doing? Uh, are you still involved in the game? Does the game still play a major role in your world? Uh, well, but now uh, I've got a events and project company. Mm. That's where my focus is. But we do, uh, 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 but we do, uh, 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 like we do some events for uh, for kids uh, to develop the young ones. And, and Kenny Magara. Oh, Kenny was, yes, 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 yes. yes. And um, what is the main objective around that? Uh, to be honest, uh, Obi, like we do, like events, like we do uh, awareness campaigns, mm. uh, events. Uh, also, like we are into a supply, you know? Mm -hmm. Also into a construction. Construction. Yeah, just has uh, uh, like hustling, you know. But is it a good hustle? Yeah, so far I can say uh, it's been good. Tell me though, in, in terms of the business model, in terms of who drives the business, who who's the brains? We are we are we uh, we are, we are, we are, we are all brains, uh, Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. But where did you acquire that skill? Because a lot of people have told me that. Hey, when uh, you you're uh, you know you you shop, you you've got the business brain. Yeah, Rob. I think remember before uh, my last uh, uh, play days were uh, uh, like we uh, uh, like was with a uh, Plumfat and Celtics. Yes. Uh, I remember like I had a, a two year. I mean, uh, I was still left with a, a two year contract with them. Mm -hmm. But I just got bored and. Instead to retire from football, because sure. I could see that uh, I played my part. But uh, 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 like when I checked my future, mm -hmm. like in football, I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Now, like it's time to uh, leave it. 
and focus on business. So mm. I just quit football just like that. But why though? They couldn't believe. No, because I could see what that there's no future anymore. But why? I mean, a, a, a talented guy like you. I'm going to keep asking why, why, why <laughs> until I get to the answer that uh, it's. I, 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 we'll talk about some of the frustrations you had, yeah. and and there were many because people didn't quite understand how to quote you in inverted yes. commas. But you also didn't want you didn't want to be coached because you felt that these coaches who are they to tell well not to tell you but to kind of change the way you played but yes. when a big decision like that you make is it out of frustration i think so Rob. yeah i just say like woke up and, and i felt bored you know what i think this football thing must just stop you, you felt bored because yes uh, uh, Rob, like uh, you, you know I've been playing football for so many years. Yeah. But he said that every time I was fighting with the coaches, huh. we couldn't see the things uh, uh, like same way. So I just got bored and said, no, I must focus on something else. But which coach? Yo, I almost used the word that was going to get me fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which coach was the one that irritated you? the most which coach was the one that got under your skin that made your life a misery i think uh, Rob, uh, i can say it was uh, roy barreto roy pirates. barreto at pirates yes because he wanted to do what he wanted to change your style he wanted to over coach you what, what was the problem i think maybe like wanted to over coach me mm -hmm. And change my style as well. So every time we, we, we are fighting, every time. So. But what is he saying to you? Because I, I understood a Paul Dolliser who would be frustrated at the end of the game and blame, you know, the big animals for conceding a goal. He he was he was moving the blame to somebody else. But with you, he, he, you know, it's like a debojo. Molloy, you know, it's like a Doc Kumalo, you know, it's like a Neymar that comes into in, into play. And and you say, my goodness, you sit back and you admire, and then you try and get other teammates to play around your game. So, yes. you know, what, what is he doing? Shutting you down? I uh, remember uh, I was a very skillful player. Yeah. And for me, football is art. Like as much as, you know, it's a, a business, but people must be entertained. So every time, like when that moment comes, we always fought, like me and him. But saying and what? I couldn't compromise that. But w w when he coaches you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to imagine yeah. this, and I'm sure the people listening would also be fascinated because there is coaching, which in my mind, when you look at a Ted Dumitra, yes. so Ted has Skarango Bese, Black Jesus, as yes. he was known. But he, he would allow Black Jesus to utilize his art, you know, to do whatever he was doing, spinning around, you know, we'll use all, all the terminology as Hekasi, but at the end of the day, Ted Dumitri did not interfere yes. with Skara. Yes. So Roy Barreto, the late, sorry, he interfered with how you wanted to play. Exactly. Uh, like, he wanted to change me, uh, to play uh, a trap and pass football, and uh, unfortunately, that's not me. But did you have a conversation? Because Roy Barreto was not the one who was paying you. You know, there was a club that employed you, a club that made you sign a contract. There was a chairman of a club. Did you say, share your frustrations with him? Uh, Rob, like we had so many meetings, like me and him. Yeah. Also chairman as well. I, I mean, one time, the uh, chairman told him, oh, no, Roy, he must, he must do one thing. Tapelo is a very skillful player. Mm. And he's a, he's a, he's, he's a typical Paris player. I signed him because I knew that he can he can play like like the way Pirates we play, but still after that like Roy like didn't change. So who left first? Was it Roy or was it? No, it's Roy. Is he? Is he who left first? So you would you would say you you subtly won that war? Yeah, no, I think I did. You did. Yes, I did. And yeah. And after that, though, did you feel 
like it was the right decision for the team. Never mind you. Because now you come back and you're an individual, but you come back into a team perspective. Did you think that with him gone, it was going to be better for both you and the team? It was better because uh, if you remember, after he has left, mm. uh, I remember uh, Costa Papi came. Costa Papi came. And uh, that time, Paris was playing a good football. Yeah. So many, uh, so many supporters came back to the stadiums. But yes, we were a bit unlucky because uh, 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 anything. But in terms of football, uh, 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 we played uh, 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 like the best football. The happy people. Yeah. Jobbik Stadium. <laughs> yes. Hey. About the good talk. Yes. About his boy. About oh. his what, what gift to the I mean, that was a crazy yeah. team. Pumozo yes. Manenja. Yes. One of the favorite players that uh, he had was, you know, obviously yes. Pumozo up front because he played a certain role. Exactly. Exactly. And but he, did he give you more game time? Yes, he did. But he they, did. they also came a time when that game time dried up. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. I wonder why. Exactly. Did you know why? Yes, I know why, but what well, was. No, don't worry. Papi is, is, is somewhere, <laughs> is somewhere in Serbia now. Uh, he's not even no, listening no, to the I, show. No, no, like, no, uh, uh, Rob, uh, yeah. no, 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 but he's the coach. Who is yes. the instruction from the security guard? That's what he told me. So he never told you who told him? Yeah. No, he's Tabelo. You must know. <laughs> you mean to tell me you're sitting here today, you still don't know who told no. Papic that he, he mustn't play? No, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't mention them. So, no, but but did you believe it? Yes, I did. But I someone within believe. the club? Yes. And uh, I was not surprised. An older person, yes, yeah, man, who's still with the club. No, 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 he's not there anymore. Yeah, no, no, he's not. Well, not coaching a team, but is he still within the club structures? No, 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 he's not there like anymore. Recently gone, yeah, like as in recent, recent, yes, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back after this. <laughs> Marawa Sports Worldwide Live three, two, on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. Enjoy worry-free connectivity with this red-hot deal from Vodacom. Get the Alcatel H872V home router on a home internet plan with up to 10 megabit per second download speed for only 349 rand per month over 36 months. Save 1,800 rand. Plus, you get a free Volcano Mini UPS so you'll stay connected even when the power's off. Miss it, miss out. T's and C's apply. Further together, Vodacom. Sarah's dream to Venice since she was a little girl. Days away from her dream destination, she finds out that Brian sold the honeymoon package for a deposit on a flashy car. <laughs> and now she's going to Bella Bella for her honeymoon. <laughs> Trust is a big thing when it comes to who you partner with. Say yes to Best Made Medical Scheme, winner of the South African Customer Satisfaction Index. Visit bestmade.co.za. Best Made Medical Scheme is an authorized FSP. The time has come to buy a car, you're shopping, browsing near and far, you're looking for a new ride, but the right one hasn't come. You saw some on the internet, but found we buy cars instead. Cars, parkies, bikes and more, we buy cars, has got them all. We have what you desire, just come to us, we are the ones to trust. We have what you desire. Come to we buy cars, we're the best by far. WeBuyCars.co.za, the best way to buy a car by far. Ever wondered how a single bet could change your life? Lotto Star invites you to try your luck on over 360 of our thrilling games, such as quick games, live games, real rush games, scratch cards, virtual games, lotteries, and the real jackpot race. You could go from zero to multimillionaire instantly. Bet now on Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. 
Woolworths W Awards members spend 350 rand or more on kids fashion and unlock a chance to play and win guaranteed prizes. Apple MacBooks, watches, Nespresso coffee machines and up to 50,000 rand in cash and more. Now's the best time to shop younger girls leggings at just 170 rand each when you buy any two. Woolworths, the difference. T's and C's apply. We bring you great hits and exciting entertainment. And our presenters enjoy doing it. But we also have to follow the rules set out by the Broadcasting Complaints Commission's Code of Conduct. In order to give you balanced programming, fair comment and accurate news. If for some reason you feel that we're not following this code, we want to know about it. So please contact us on comments at 947.co.za. If you're still not satisfied, you can direct your complaint in writing to the Broadcasting Complaints Commission. Uh-huh. Email bccsa at nabsa.co.za. For more, visit bccsa.co.za. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Bayern Munich have left Sadio Mane out of their squad for Saturday's league game against Hoffenheim and also amid reports that he punched the teammate Leroy Sané. Uh, so to give us more detail, but we head off to Germany, Mario Leo. Is there something a little bit deeper than that? I, I think obviously one word led to another. Sadio Mane definitely was, was the one kind of uh, hitting the target better. Shows obviously that he's not arrived yet and he's not part of the team and the team kind of really tries also to identify his role. So but where, where does this also put uh, Thomas Tuchel? Because he has not had the greatest start, uh, admittedly. Uh, and I think Thomas Tuchel is probably sort of the least, the least one to blame because he just accepted basically the proposal. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Good evening, Mr. Rob. It's sort of long here. And good evening to the MSW shoulders. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting weekend to look forward to uh, in all competitions for that matter. Yes, the NBA playoffs are going to uh, tip off from uh, Saturday, uh, the, this coming Saturday. Uh, and of course, there are interesting Premier League games to look forward to as well. But um, of course, um, one would fixate their focus to the David versus Goliath match that is taking place at the Peter Mokabe Stadium uh, between Dondal Stars and Orlando Pirates. Last time, Orlando Pirates faced a side that was not in the PSL. Well, case in point, when you, when you look at that game against um, Malutia Fiji College, uh, they stunned South African football by eliminating Orlando Pirates. So let's hope and pray that a Pirates side do not succumb to eight defeats to a Dondo Stars, dangerous as they are. But hey, football has no therefore. So I'm really looking forward to that game. And of course, looking forward to whatever sporting event that is coming this weekend. But my focus, especially tomorrow, would definitely be on Dondo Stars and Orlando Pirates. Great show, boys. Thanks. Thank you so much indeed. A lot happening over the weekend. A lot to unpack with the man that played for Bloemfontein Celtic, he played for Rhea Stars, Orlando Pirates, Morocco Swallows, as well as headed back to Bloemfontein Celtic. And he decided, he woke up one day, he was bored of all of this, and he said, I am going to retire. We headed into the break uh, chatting about a very bizarre situation. Uh, Tapelo Diao, if you're just joining us, uh, is my guest. You're listening to 947. It is... For my fam, rise a fam, so it's live. It's the Legends Night on a Friday. Lots of voice notes that are coming through. I don't even know if you're gonna have. Can we go on until midnight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that story that you were telling us. Did you ever confront that person though, as a one-on-one? Maybe if you bumped into him at a football game, and you decided to say, you know what? I get to understand, or I heard that you were the one telling Coach Papic not to play me. No, no, I didn't. I didn't see a need, Mm. so I didn't. Do you regret not? I mean, do you feel like it's something you need to so that he knows that you know? Ah, well, I don't think it is just, it is that important now. So, But he denied an opportunity though. Yeah, but he loved the team, so you know, you know, Rob, uh, uh, like in life. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very spiritual person. So, like I believe, uh, you know, uh, 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 in life, if you do good, good will follow you. Mm. If you do bad, bad will follow you. So I don't, I don't, I don't prefer to fight. Uh, Verbal or physical, no, no, no. Mm. Yeah. So, so, it's a, I think, so it's a tactical thing. I think game. like a uh, universe uh, dealt with him. So. Huh. 
Talking about the universe, the, the universe kind of took you, though, before you went to Orlando Pirates. Hey, and you were a superstar at this team. Real stars. Yeah. Real stars, yeah. they respected you there, hey? It was yeah, a yeah. different story. Yeah, in Europe, uh, like Real stars, yeah. like, made uh, a tabloid down. They named tabloid down. You know, you know, Rob, uh, from rem remember, I came to professional football in 1997, 98, yeah. Yeah. playing for Boomfantin Celtics. But then I was still young, uh, coached by uh, a Stars Pumo. Pumo. Yes. Mm. Then I felt that, you know, man, I want to play like more games. So mm. I left the uh, Boomfantin Celtics. I went to Polokwane then, Petersburg. I didn't know anyone there. Yeah. Except the uh, uh, coach uh, Ponwane, Leonard Ponwane. He was a coach then. Yeah. So, and I also remember that, uh, like, Ria they were uh, looking for uh, a centre back. Oh. So, he, he just told me to come, but he didn't tell me that. So, I just went to training and play like my usual game. Yeah. I tribute everyone, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Ria was there. Mamria was there. I remember she was there. Yeah. Watching the training session. She stopped the training session and came to me and, and, and the coach. And uh, I remember she said, uh, Coach, this boy like, is not a defender, but I'm going to sign him now. Oh. We must go to the office now. That's how I got signed there. Immediately. Immediately. So she was there just watching and said, Oh, yeah. stop, stop, stop. Yes. I don't know, like this one, I'm going to sign him. Because you have said that Bamriya has played such a massive role. Important role, Rob. In your life and yes. your journey. Too much. Remember then, even uh, in Pilokwan, remember, well, I didn't know the place. Yeah. I didn't know anyone, but she became like a mom to me. You know? So I'm very, I'm very, very like, grateful to her. Yeah. When last did you speak to her? Yeah, we speak almost every day. She's proud of you, you know that. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Good afternoon, Tapelo, a legend of note. Marawa, I remember that the whole Polokwane Stadium will go crazy when this young man had the ball. The opponent will try to get the ball from him and they couldn't. That's how talented this young man was. I hope he's still talented. Uh, when he plays with the legends, but uh, the supporters also called him Abuti Bula Boot. I don't know what that meant. I don't know whether there was something in his boot that he gave to the supporters, but that's how the supporters loved this man when he had the ball in the middle of the park. He would score amazing goals. That's Tabelo for you. But overall, I have seen this man grow from a young, talented player to the man he is today. We still communicate, me and him, uh, most of the time because I still remain a mother that uh, was a mother away from home when he stayed in Polokwane. A man who's very passionate about development of football in the country. He has been doing a number of projects. I remember he called me uh, to a mine in Palabora where he was uh, doing a project there uh, with the young, uh, talented players uprooting and, and, and identifying those young players. Uh, he continues to do that uh, on, on, on a daily basis. And, and I know the that is so passionate about about the development of football in the country. Tapelo, I can say to you, uh, I'm so proud to that you have been uh, groomed. You know, I know you came from Free State, but you know when you came to Riestas, uh, the team was never the same again. You know, uh, supporters would want you to play, uh, whether you are fit or not. You remember that. But I just want to wish you all of the best in your future endeavors. You know me and you have got a deal about the legends in this country. We're still going to make that a reality. Cheers. Sure.
Please don't cry. We don't have any <laughs> tissues. We don't have any towels. <laughs> we just have a microphone. Yeah, I hope. Eh? You know what we... Eh? If I were, I were to talk about Mamoria, I can talk the whole night. Yeah. She played a very important role, uh, like in my career. And I still want to see a, a person like who knows football like her. Uh, she someone, uh, uh, someone like who's passionate about the game. Mm -hmm. And she played an important role in our football. You know? So I'm very, very, very uh, grateful. I know that you dribbled your opponents on the field. <laughs> You're not going to dribble me. <laughs> Because you were going this way. This was one of the tricks that you used to do. You used to go this way. Then before you change and you go the other way. You just did that now. You said she's played such a big role yes. in this country. Yes. And that somebody like her. And then you changed gears. <laughs> so you meant somebody like her should play a bigger role in football. As in become a president of SAFA. You would have been disappointed uh, when that didn't happen at the last uh, you know, SAFA election. Yeah, well, but uh, to be honest, you know... In life, sometimes we should be honest. You know. mm -hmm. uh, our football is in the wrong hands. You know. That I'm not gonna uh, be around. You know. mm -hmm. It's in the wrong hands. So the because wrong hands we were it's suffer. And suffer. Yeah. It's suffer. You know. uh, we can't run football for more than ten years, but still we don't get the results. Mm -hmm. But we're still having like the same men there, so. For me, I think as a country, we should start being like honest. If if we want to see a change in our football, because uh, our football is in crisis, yeah. it's in crisis. Hope so, something like needs to be done. So somebody yeah. like Danny Jordan, you don't feel is doing justice no, no, no. to it. No, 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 like like he's not. Yeah, yeah. He must be honest to himself as well because he must sit down and check on a, in the air. Uh, uh, Ever since he took over from uh, uh, Safa, mm. what did he achieve? Well, we've asked those questions so many times, and 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 he'll say, you know, the the ladies have improved. They are African champions. He'll tell you the under twenties have been to a World Cup. So all of those things, you know. But obviously, you and I are looking at success at Bafana Bafana, which Bafana hasn't Bafana happened. And, yeah. and, and under twenty three as well. Yeah. So. Who would you leader be? Who would you be your choice as far as soccer leadership is concerned as the president? To win as well, I feel football must go back to the hands of uh, footballers. Yeah. It's very important because, yes, it's fine. We can have those people who are skilled to uh, to do things, but in terms of uh, the brains, uh, like we need people mm. who play the game. Who, who would you go for? Give me a name. No, not from... Uh, from uh, from Lucas, from uh, from Doctor. Yeah. Yes, I think like it's that time they must take over. Tapelo Dio says to us that uh, the former football players they need to be active. That's yeah. that's where football should be led uh, by the people that played the game. Yeah. Um, you know me, I, I could have a whole chat about that for the entire hour, but I want to yeah. celebrate you because today is about yeah. celebrating you and your success. Uh, okay, K on Twitter. Kaya Koko says, please ask about the skills that that they did during the CAF Champions League in the early 2000s with Abochi's boy and sailor. He says there was a one that Udiawu did where he picked up the ball with his heel and brought it over his head in front of two opponents. He says, I listen and watch on YouTube. <laughs> so you remember that game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, hey, it was hectic that day. Everyone was on fire. Yeah. So, but uh, I can say to him, he must watch, he must go to my Facebook page or my Instagram page. I'm going to do it that style, you know, so, so that he can see again. You can still do it? Yes, I can still do it. Even now, Rob, uh, I can do it here, yeah, you know, in the studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, I saw a rugby ball, but no, we're okay. not going to use that. Okay. If there's a football here yeah, somewhere, please, people are watching live on YouTube. We're not going to mess with this opportunity here. I mean, even KK can watch it. This man is that confident. He yeah. is that confident. He is low jam. <laughs> oh, I love that. If we do get the ball, trust me, we'll get the entire nation to be watching. You remember David Modise? Hey, Kawa. Huh? Hey, hey Kawa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While well, you remember him, listen to this. Kapelo Abu Tibulabu, the most skillful player I've ever seen and I've ever met. Slow poison. 
the best dribble I've ever seen. Look, uh, my brother, it was nice playing with you and I enjoyed playing with you even whenever we play our FIFA side. I always want you to be on my side, the best entertainer, which you don't see at this time of the season, of the year. Tita Belodiao, my brother. Bula buti abuti, slow poison. Mdava hi, David Mudise hi. Tango. <laughs> David would do so. I mean, imagine one skillful player praising another skillful player. Rasta man. <laughs> hey, Gava. Hey, hey, hey. Rob, you know, David, like David had his own mind. Yeah. He was always ahead, like in terms of thinking. He was uh, extraordinary. So I, I respect him so much. And uh, I'm so humbled to hear those words coming from him. Before the break, I, I want you to quickly listen to this because this man might have paid your check. Yeah, those days were not transferring. You are being paid <laughs> by check. Whether those checks bounce was not our problem. Tapelo Diao, Abuti Bulabut, Abuti Bulabut. What a talented, skillful player. Vision, first touch, deceptive body movement, slow, slow poison. What a class player. We lack such players in this country today. Hola, hola, Tapelo Diao. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's the man that owned Bloemfontein Jimmy Celtic. Augusto. Jimmy Augusto. Yes. Hey. Hey, hey, You know what? Uh, I played with him in 1997. Yeah. Yes, he was my teammate. But later, uh, he became my boss. Yeah, the man, you know, he was, he was very good to me. Uh, and I really, really appreciate the role he played like in my career as well. He sounds, uh, yes. sounds very proud. He sounds very proud of yeah. you. All right, before we take a break, I also got a tweet uh, from Elasto Capoenza. Hey. Yeah. You remember Elasto Capoenza? He says, hey, hey Tapelo Dia, wow. He says, you have in the studio there one of the best naturally gifted midfielders this country has ever produced. It was a joy sharing the change room with him. And at one stage, we had one of the best midfield combinations in the Premier Soccer League. Elasto Capoenza, thank you so much for listening in and for sending that tweet uh, if you want to check it out we have retweeted it onto our timeline hey you're gonna you know what after the break you're probably gonna chill more than talk because the volume of tributes that are coming through is incredible and it is deserved because this man has put in the hard work you know moving from pimville argentina to snow on blackpool amateur teams to the professional ranks to touching you know i don't even know bafana bafana what happened Yo. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live In three, two, one. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. How can I get paid easily? If you're in business, you've asked yourself this. At FNB, there's a way for everyone to get paid, and you get to choose. Receive payments using SpeedPoint, or use Speedy QR to generate a scannable QR code on the FNB app. Your customers can even pay using their card or phone directly on your compatible Android smartphone when you use Speedy app. Your business needs payments, so join the Changeables and get the help you need. FNB is a division of First Rand Bank Limited, an authorized financial services and credit provider. T's and C's apply. Lula Land empowers small businesses with fast access to business funding of up to 5 million rand. You can apply online in minutes at lulaland.co.za. Iseli Energy is a solar wholesaler, systems integrator and solar solutions provider founded in 2018 by experts with a passion for renewable energy, sustainability and excellence. We have distribution centres in Cape Town, Johannesburg and Bloemfontein that services the rapidly expanding solar voltaic industry. Lululin facilitated our acceleration by providing a cash flow boost that met our company needs quickly and effectively. This enabled us to meet the increased demand, offering us unrivaled customer service and support when we needed it the most. Apply today for up to 5 million rand in business funding at lunalen.co.za and make cash flow. Do you with the Revam Suzuki Espresso, now with exciting new features. Do cool tech with a new generation touchscreen that connects you to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Do class leading safety, which adds ESP and Isofix to the already impressive ABS, EBD and dual front airbags. Do fuel efficiency with engine auto stop-start technology. Do you in the Suzuki Espresso from only 162900. Contact your nearest Suzuki dealer to book a test drive now. T's and C's apply.
You've reached Harold's Relationship Hotline. Harold, it's my friend Sarah's special day. Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. Actually, it's an anniversary. Happy anniversary, Sarah. The anniversary of her parakeet. Happy birth anniversary. Of oh, the day that he died. Happy simple birth anniversary. What can I get her? First off, you can get to the point a bit quicker next time. And then, for Sarah's special day, get to netflorist.ca today and you'll find something special for all occasions. Good, bad or sad. Smoochy smooches. We bring you great hits and exciting entertainment. And our presenters enjoy doing it. But we also have to follow the rules set out by the Broadcasting Complaints Commission's Code of Conduct. In order to give you balanced programming, fair comment and accurate news. If for some reason you feel that we're not following this code, we want to know about it. So please contact us on comments at 947.co.za. If you're still not satisfied, you can direct your complaint in writing to the Broadcasting Complaints Commission. P.O. Box 412365, Craig Hall 2024. For more, visit bccsa.co.za. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Now the Special Olympics, South Africa. They're counting down to the 2023 Special Olympics, the World Summer Games in Berlin. Let's catch up with the chairperson, Dr. Matthew Sparsa. You are the first human being to arrive for this show at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm a soldier. We told you to keep time. We told you to be disciplined. That discipline cuts across my behavior. <laughs> that, is, that is incredible. <laughs> You know, I, I ran off to come and see the guys. Were like, oh, he's been here since four o'clock. I was like, oh, incredible, <laughs> incredible. You know, politicians are always then, which is your old forte. They would always be the last to pitch up, so that you know everybody sees them with their bodyguards and everything else. I am glad you've ditched that. So, welcome to sports. Thank you very much, and uh, thank for the opportunity to talk about Special Olympics. I'm always on time. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Friday nights, always. About our beloved legends. Pull up your chair. Let's chat legendary stuff. Marawa Sports Worldwide. Hey, Mr. Marawa, thanks for bringing Tapelo Abuti Pula Puti to the show. Thanks, man. Uh, I've been wanting to ask this question for all the cheesy number 12 set Orlando Pirates. They don't make it, including him also. I can name a few. What's wrong with cheesy number 12 set Orlando Pirates? It's Tembile Kanunu, Solomon Mate, Mark Mayambela. Collins Makaka, Lesonolo Masalesa, they all could not make it with Jersey number 12 at Orlando Padre. What seems to be wrong with Jersey number 12 at Orlando Padre? And they were all skillful players, players who I felt that they could change the game anytime at Orlando Padre. Because of Jersey number 12, they just don't live up to expectations. What's wrong with Jersey number 12 at Pirates? Sure, the mystery of Jersey number 12. Can it be resolved here tonight? It is hashtag Mara Sports Worldwide. It's a Friday today, Legends Night. Phew, what a question. And hopefully you got the band to answer it. Tapelo Dia is my guest, uh, former Bloemfontein Celtic career star, Zolando Pirates, Morocco Swallows uh, football player. Is there a problem with jersey number 12? Does the jersey play or does the human being play? No, uh, there's nothing wrong with the jersey number 12 at Pirates. Yeah. I think the problem is uh, maybe the the coaches and the in the era as well. No? Remember then, uh, yesterday yes, there were there were no uh, uh, there were no uh, uh, there were no uh, too many coaches then. Yeah, no? like players were so expressing free. themselves mm. uh, freely. So now uh, times have changed now. There's too many, too many, too many instructions now. <laughs> but but why jersey number twelve though? Because it, it's the opposite in your opposition, which was Kaiser Chiefs. I mean, Uma yes. Pansy, uh, who was the uncle to Bully yes. Zueleng, yes. Patrick Bule Eason Zueleng, yes. one of the greatest ever. Yes. Went to play in America, played in Canada for Toronto Blizzards. He did all of those things. That's how good he was. He matched up with Jomason. I think still. So today, people don't even know who was the greatest between the two. Yes. But that was the the number 12 that pops up in our mind. So at Pirates, why was it being so stifled? Why, what was the problem? No, the well, there's nothing wrong like with the like number 12 at Pirates. Yeah. There's absolutely a, a, a nothing wrong. 
Tell me about the captain. Who was your best captain? My best captain, uh, yo, that's a difficult one. Eh? Okay, while you're thinking, <laughs> let's listen to this. Good evening, Mr. Marawa, and to listeners at home. Ha, ah, TP, tips and tips. Abuti Bula Boot, hello, Pueze. Tapaluleao, my brother from another Mata. The guy who welcomed me and helped me to settle at Riastas. The most skillful player I ever played with. Yo, Robert, our star player. I love to be a man of the match. I be a tata onke, onke, Robert. Mina, mangri. If I recall, we ne a one, one. A onke, I will not tapel. Our star player. Robert, in kelo gusu gusu tapel okuti. Why? Yena no mshikar. Yas la wande baba puma like six o'clock they'll go out Robert. They'll come back around ten o'clock in the evening. Ba pege eno tapel will juggle the ball. I want you to ask him why? Why baba pega ngo ten o'clock ebsugu eno tapel will juggle the ball make noise? Yeah, as vusa. Ngelo gutumbuzi gutu why? Eno tapelo please tapelo. You must be honest to Robert and to all. The listeners, please tap below. Yeah, and Robert, I was lucky like my name. Nasala foot na ego alando pirate. Yeah, I remember one day <laughs> they were giving us new soccer boots, so they didn't give him. Then he asked them why. Then they said to him, Tapel, <laughs> you don't have a size. You know your size, size 12. Hey, he was angry that day that all of us, we got soccer boot, you know, except him. Then they said to him, Tapel, Adidas are still organizing yours, you know, from Cape Town. Yeah, because of that abnorm abnormal size of yours, not, uh, size 12. Hey, he was angry, but the following day, they gave him a new copper, size 12. Yeah. But Robert, you know, today you are hosting uh, my brother. I just want to thank him for everything that he have done for me. Even today, he's still my brother. We play Legends game together. I don't know if he told you that he's, you know, he's owning a master's team. Um, I was part of it, the way we are so close. Yeah. He, two weeks back, we went together to Lesotho to play a Legends uh, game. Yeah, no way. Hey, they, respect, they respect him in Lesotho, yeah? They respect that guy. So, the way they respect him, Naming respect Aganjalo Robert, my brother for life. Tapelo, God bless you. Please continue doing good to um, people the way do, you were doing good to me and you are still doing good. Please, my brother, take care. Brotherhood for life. Away. Away, away, away. Thank you so much. Luckily, <laughs> Kwati. Yeah, Malaza, hey. Hey, Rob, this man, you know, he came to Ria Stars. Uh, like he found me there. Yeah. Then, like, like we were still playing in the first division there. He came to join us. He, he was striking. Remember, he was a striker, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was before, playing up before, front. Yeah, yeah, before he can be a defender. Yeah. But I remember uh, me and Sid in Chicago, uh, we could see something special in him. Yeah. So, uh, like, we made sure that he feel uh, like, uh, like he felt at home. And uh, he was a he was a great guy, like a great human being, L like one of the best uh, defenders uh, yeah. I've played with. But also still a great yeah. human being now. I just don't know yes. why he's dreaming so much. Is he going to the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, you must you must <laughs> just tell him which, his days are done. Every know? time I tell him that he, he must have a, a social life. <laughs> <laughs> his social life is, is is doing you know yeah. whatever bench presses and all those hey, crazy things that much, he does too much but he's a, a great role model though. he's my friend yeah, yeah no, no no great role know, model yeah. Yeah. champ thank you so much uh captain uh, for sending us those tributes like i said it's 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 crazy times crazy messages hi rob this is andrew from roddy pod rob i would just like to greet the legend uh tapelo abuti bulap what a legend rob um what an amazing player you know, he was not the fastest uh, players uh, in the field. However, he was the most creative player in the field, Rob. And, you know, when they say someone has a soccer brain and he's a creative genius on the ball, they spoke about him. I watched him, you know, from uh, Ria Stars. I watched him, you know, when he, he, he went to the Mighty Pacanias and he was playing with the most talented group of players, your Gifli Remis, your Steve Liquileas, your Joseph Macanias, uh, to name a few. And I just want to ask for his opinion on the game. You know, I find that the modern football now is too, too fast. Too, too fast and the players they don't have time to think on the ball 
and it's like they're robots. You know, they just run, 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 and you don't have those type of players that can slow down a game. What's his opinion on that, Rob? I mean, do you, does he believe that slow players like him, they still have a, a role to play in the modern football? Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Andrew in the Rudaput. Always a pleasure getting your messages clear, precise, and informative. Are, are these players doing what you would love to see them do today in 2023? Are they just running without any knowledge of what they're doing? What what are you seeing when you sit there and you watch? What what, what goes through your head? No, Rob, I think Andrew uh, is asking a very a very good question. Yeah, I think there's nothing called modern football. There's no such. Like football is still the same. It's still eleven against eleven. Mm -hmm. Whether you play a four four two or three five two or four one one, but the fact is eleven against eleven. Mm -hmm. And also, I, and, and, and like he said, like when he says, uh, football now is more faster. And I think that kills uh, the quality. Because you see players like running around. Everyone wants to run. There's no time to think. So our football must slow down a bit. Tell because me. even now, we can see Messi like working like in the field of play. Yeah. You don't just run. Football must run. That's why they call yeah. you slow poison. Maybe people don't understand uh, <laughs> why the nickname, you know. And and Andrew's right. He says you were not the fastest. Doctor yeah. admits he was not the fastest. Yeah. A lot of skillful players will admit yeah. that they're not the fastest. Why? Yeah. Because what was fast was what you were doing with the ball and yes. to the ball. Exactly. You know. So you didn't have to be quick. Even Robert uh, Stars, I can see people are talking about their skill and everything. Yeah. But people forgot that uh, I was a top goal scorer. Uh, of Real Stars for two seasons. Yeah, I remember the uh, yeah. 2000 in total for yeah. both league and cup, you got somewhere 34 goals. Yes. Yeah. So I scored so many goals, but then and, and the people were saying I'm slow, but I could score goals. Yeah, because one season was, 32, was 34, then yeah. it was 22 yes. the following season. Yes. Yeah. So it was consistency yeah. from, from what I can pick yeah. up. Just because people know you as far as the Soweto teams as being a Pirates player. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, though. I, I, I understand for a derby game, you had to go and ask Kaiser Chiefs for tickets to go and watch a derby. A team that you didn't even have anything to do with in your career. Why is that? I hope, uh, to be honest, with me, I can't say that. Because mm. whenever there's a derby and it's a, it's a game of pirates, Every time the Gungosana gives me tickets. Mm. So, but I know, uh, like other guys are, are complaining. They're struggling. They it's can't. happening, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't understand why, uh, like, why should our expos or our, like, legends uh, struggle to go to the game? I still, uh, like, don't understand even today. Uh, like, because if you go to England, you go to menu or like all, like all the uh, 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 like legends are respected there. Oh, they invite you. They so, sit there with the ties yes. and the suits and, and one suite and yeah. Tina, yeah, uh, they rather give uh, artists uh, tickets or actors. Yeah. And, and, so and skip different. you. Yeah. The guys who the the fans were excited to come and pay money exactly. to come and watch. Exactly. That's like crazy. Opposites. While we're talking about pirates, though. Um, I'm just checking you on, on YouTube. Uh, Walnut has asked a question. says, what, what do you think, or what does he think when he watches Saleng playing? Saleng Hope is a, is a, a fantastic uh, player, but I still feel, I still feel he's still uh, erratic like there and there. But he's a good player. Yeah. But I think he must relax a bit. Every time he's in the uh, like in the hurry, he likes to shoot. Like, like even if he's not ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm saying all this just to uh, advise him. Yeah. Not to destroy him. 
Ono, he must relax. You can't just shoot like when you're not ready. You know? mm-hmm. But uh, otherwise, he's a fantastic player. So composure, basically. Yes, composure, yeah. yes. All right. We are running out of time, and I see there's uh, another voice note has popped out here. Yo, in fact, too many. Hi, Mr. Marawa, Kaya Koko, um, from Katlong. I just want to say to the legend in the studio, Oprah Chapelo Diao Oguti, he was one of the players that made my childhood, eh? You know, the skills that he had were, I don't think there was anyone after him and Daniel Sela Shabalala who had skills like that. But, you know, some people think those skills are showboating and all of that, but it was progressive within the field of play. And then when we when we were leading as Pirates, they would then entertain us as fans. You know, I remember they won the league 2002-2003 with Coach Roy, the late Coach Roy. Um, the football they played there was just amazing. Eh? From Emova, uh, Papi Khomane, Mbudelo Mabizela, <clears throat> to the midfield, you know, to the strikers, the late Leslie Maniatela. It was just a fantastic team. So I'm glad that he's here, MSW. Uh, thank you for bringing in Bra Rob and Bra Tapelo, Galeboa, Gats Wotlodi and Zeng for Rona, Ratang Bolo, Ratang Orlando Pirates. You made our child, you made my childhood, let me say. Um, and yeah, I, I wish you nothing but the best. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, absolutely. You can tell this man has got Orlando Pirates in his heart, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, man. I appreciate know, the thanks, message. Bro. Thanks. Whew. Plays the best football ever that he's seen. That's a mouthful. In 30 seconds, man, maybe just a thank you to all the fans that show you love every day. What do you say to them? Yeah, well, I just want to thank everyone like, who supported me and showed my career. It was, a, it was a great journey. I really, really like had fun. And also, I made sure that uh, I entertained them. So I'm very, very, very uh, thankful. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wish uh, everyone the best. Yeah. All the best on the weekend. A uh, big thanks as well to Lakile Khwati, Jimmy Augusti, David Modise, Ria Ledwaba uh, for all the beautiful tributes as well that came through. Uh, Rob, also, yeah. I, can, I, I can't miss this one. Also, I want to thank my coach. Yeah. My, my day one coach, my father, uh, Dr. Malfia Sande, like he's a man, like who taught me football from an early age. Uh, like he's a man, like who prepared me mm. to be a player like, like I am. So I want to thank him. He played a very important role. In and my, without him, we yes. wouldn't be celebrating you here today. Yeah. Have a you. super, super weekend. Yeah. Tapelo Dio, slow poison. Good to see you. Thank you so much to thanks, all the messages, thanks. man. Have a great, great weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947 Vuma FM Rise